for the most part, we're close, if not done, with a lot of the photo editing on our magazine. The nice part about Photoshop is that we could go back and make little edits and move things and adjust things as time goes on. And we probably will have to make some very tiny little edits. No big deal at all. Um, what we need to start thinking about is the text portion. So right here, I have the parts of the magazine cover and I made like a big diagram basically of what all the different parts mean. So let's blow this up a little bit. We talked about how the person in the middle is the cover image or central image. We talked about the masthead already. Um, so all these little like text doohickeys have little names. Um, so what I'm, we're going to do today is start thinking about what we want the text on the cover of our magazine to say. We're going to type it into a Google Doc. And I know you're probably like, that seems like a lot of extra effort. But um, Photoshop doesn't have like... Uh, spell check, autocorrect, or anything like that. So if you type it into Google Docs first and you make any errors, it's a lot easier to find than if an error is in Photoshop. So the one I want to focus on first is the one at the bottom here. So what's the big giant piece of text here at the bottom of the magazine cover? Copy. Yep. And what's it say specifically? This. Rihanna. Rihanna. Perfect. So that's our cover line. And who happens to be pictured on the magazine? Perfect. So this big giant text, usually near the bottom of your page, the cover line is going to be about that person who's on your front cover. Okay. So that's usually the biggest text. And it's like the easiest to find because this person is usually the money maker for the magazine. Okay? So like for the cover line, they chose just Rihanna. And then the little description, the cover line description on fearlessness, Fenty and finding love. So it's usually like a little phrase that goes underneath, gives you a little hint of what you're going to read about in the magazine. So um, I did, I have a little Google Doc here for you, and this is not graded, but I recommend just filling this out. So if you start it today and I don't see you again for a day or two, like you don't forget. So for my cover line, I put Jimmy Fallon because I put Jimmy Fallon on mine. And then my little cover line description was his journey through stand-up, SNL, and late night. Short. Any questions about that part? All right. Let me just talk about the cover line, um, the teasers and the plugs, and we'll be good. So teasers and plugs are about all the other stuff in your magazine that has nothing to do with the person on the cover. So a magazine isn't 100 every single page about that person. It's got other topics in there, too. So for Entertainment Weekly, which I was doing, what are some other topics I could possibly bring up? Sports, yeah, you could do sports, definitely counts as entertainment, what else? Yeah, new music, definitely. Any other TV for that matter? Okay, so for my case over here, I started one here, my plug, um, I should go have to switch the order but um the first one will be the sopranos prequel because that was coming out last year and then the little description underneath it was can the many saints of newark stay true to its roots so they're like a phrase that's two parts that relates to one another the other one was from last year emmy nominations 2022 and then who will win the best picture so two little parts another one was just called super streaming that's it and then the description was the best shows on Netflix, Hulu, Apple TV, and more. So that's really all we need to get done the rest of the period. Start filling out this form. Everyone's got a copy, so that way you can just refer to it anytime you're here. It's not graded. It's more just like a note page for you to like get your ideas down. Also, you're totally allowed to go look up existing uh, teasers, plugs, and cover lines that you see on existing magazines and type them. Totally fine by me. I'm really more concerned that like it makes sense, like it's gram you know grammatically correct that you're not missing like a word or something, and that it's spelled correct. That's important too. We made sure it's like capitalized stuff like that. Okay. Any questions about those parts so far? Okay, let's start filling those out.